everybody, welcome to Real Guitar, Real Strat 101. I'm Jeffrey Allen, a.k.a. Guitar Jeff, your commentator, your moderator, your... Don't you dare. Today, we're going to be covering the basics of rhythm and picking for beginners. Hope you all have a great time and get a lot out of it. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, we're now in the chord mode of Real Guitar, Real Strat. I have two examples that I'm going to share with you today, uh, the single hand technique and the, yeah. We're going to start with the single hand technique. For this demonstration, we are going to use thumb, two, and three, and we're going to play an A minor chord. Now, the way this works, as long as you keep one of these tones down, you then can use the other fingers to strum. We've already established A minor chord. Even though I'm holding the C, it will still be A minor until I let up on that C, and I can strum up and down. If I wish to change fingers during the strum, I can as well. Same rule applies. bass and pick mode of real guitar, real strat, uh, probably the most versatile part of the entire instrument. I'm going to also introduce uh, a thing called chord leading. Chord leading is when you establish your chord with your left hand. While you're uh, preparing for your next chord with your left hand, the right hand retains the previous tones. That's chord leading. It comes in really, really handy, let me tell you. Let me uh, get this thing up into position. Left hand, for those of you that uh, haven't played around with this mode, the left hand plays only the bass tone. Though I'm stroking a chord, and a little tough to see with the guitar, but I'm playing an F minor. The rest of the tone of tones, of course, come from the uh, right hand from the string keys. Which you can pick. That is one of my favorite parts of this mode. Not only can you pick, but you can strum fluidly. Up and down, full chords. You can also solo from this mode. You don't have to go to a different part of real guitar. Uh, let me illustrate it this way. Really, really cool place to be. Let's do a little bit of Michelle just to uh, kind of pick this up. Watch the left hand as I chord lead through this. Michelle, my bell, these are words that go together well. Oh, my Michelle. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you That's all I gotta say Till I find a way I will say the only words I know That you'll understand Oh, my Michelle We're in the uh, Ask Jeff section of Real Guitar, Real Strat 101. The two most common questions I get in live application, how fluid is real guitar when it comes to changing patches? Best thing I can do is uh, illustrate. So, right now we're in the chord mode. Let me get my left, uh, the left, there we go. It changes patches, by the way, from up here. We're in the chord mode. We're now in the solo mode. We're back in chord mode. So to answer your question, uh, number one, it's flawless. It's uh, terrific for changing patches. You can do this on uh, any normal controller as well. It doesn't have to be a guitar. Second question I get is, uh, with all the videos, um, folks aren't seeing uh, the guitar hooked up, so they're wondering what's going on. Let me uh, just take a second and give a shameless plug, too. Um, I'm going to lift the guitar up this way, and there you go. Let me bring that in for the shot. There we go. That's the Kenton MIDI wireless. This is the wireless that I've been using for years. And uh, it is pretty doggone flawless. I am using this for all of my videos and all of my engagements as well. Uh, this piece goes with me all over the world. So that's how I'm able to play without you seeing any cables. So there you go. Oh, I guess I should, uh, by the way, for uh, those of you that are seeing this for the first time, uh, this is the uh, Jeff Abbott Signature Series Keytar. Uh, this is the first one. Yeah, there we go. Got it in a frame. Uh, this is handmade for me. And uh, yes, it is real wood. And it sure feels like it as well. 
and uh, it's a retrofit of a Roland AX1. So, yeah, that's my yeah. Anyway, so hopefully that uh, that answered your questions, and uh, we're going to move along to the next phase of the video. We're going back to the chord mode for the uh, two hand technique. Uh, we're also going to introduce MIDI chords. Uh, let me go ahead and start with that with real guitar. If you play any single note in the chord mode, it equals that major. So if you hit a B, it's B major, A major, G major, F sharp major. If you wish to play a minor chord, you play the root and the minor third. A minor, G minor, F sharp minor, just the root and the third. For suspended four chords, you play a typical. Now, we're also going to introduce the left hand in here. And for me, I use the strum keys of C and D with the left hand. I will not use the mute keys, the C sharp and the D sharp. Um, just a personal preference. So I'm using C and D for my secondary strumming. So I'm going to run this example by, and we're going to start it real slow, just going through the chords. So, now we got the effects. I'm going to pick it up just a little bit more before I go to full tempo. Uh, one of the reasons, by the way, is I get a lot of emails where folks are asking me, are you, are you really playing? Are you really playing that, or are you speeding it up? Uh, the answer to that is these cameras can only get 30 frames a second. So, if you're exceeding that, uh, it creates a blur or a little bit of confusion. Yeah, I'm really playing it. So, let's go ahead and uh, get the whole thing in, into uh, the frame. Nice and easy. All right, at tempo. Yeah, Ever since I was a young boy, I played a Super Bowl. I'm so down bright, ooh, I must have played them all. And I ain't seen nothing like it, and then he was me whole. That death don't like it, sure, plays a mean pinball. Take this thing home. We're going to go to the uh, solo mode of Real Strat, and we're going to introduce the uh, repeater keys, and we're going to also introduce the mute keys. So, the repeat keys, C and D. The mute keys, C sharp, D sharp. The repeat keys will repeat the last thing you played, whether it be a chord or a single note. Let's go to single note. Let's go to a chord. So. Mute, repeat. Let's kick a little groove and take this thing out of here. out of the video. We'll see you next time. Take care, people.